Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel, Fixing It Up with Sandra. In case you're new here, I'm Sandra, and today we're gonna do a super quick, super adorable, rustic-y kind of craft, and it's right here. We are going to be doing a tin can jack-o'-lantern. You can do a scarecrow. We're probably gonna do a scarecrow one um, in a different video, but today we're gonna do something like this super fun, super easy. This is going to be a quick craft. Um, we're going to go ahead and start out with a, a can, just an a food, empty food can clean. Um, I have some, this is pumpkin orange by Apple Barrel, and I'm just going to put some in here. We're going to do a couple of coats of paint on this. I like to have it have like that little deep, that little darker orange color. So I'm just going to set this right here so you can, uh, See this one? I add just a dot of black. I'm sure you can buy paint that color, but this is just what I have on hand. So I'm just gonna add a little bit of black to that. I'm gonna go ahead and mix that together. And a little bit more orange. And just to let you know, I've already taken a nail and a hammer and made holes on opposite sides of the can, right here and right there, because we're gonna add some of this cute wired jute cord to it um, once it's all done. So we're gonna go ahead and just, at no like real order, just put some um, paint on here. I'm kinda trying to, kinda trying to. <laughs> that's even a proper sentence. I'm just trying to get like thick paint on here, but we are gonna do two coats. And afterwards, um, you can put the uh, acrylic, polyacrylic over this paint to seal it. Um, that's what I've done to this. And, or you can put Mod Podge. All right, there we go. So this is pretty fast, as you can see. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cheat. I'm gonna grab my um, my heat gun and, sorry, my brain stopped. I'm gonna grab my heat gun, dry it down, and then get a second coat on. And I will be right back. See how fast that was? Um, and we're doing this with the top up. There's so many adorable ways to do this with it like this. We will get to those because I have a bunch of um, food cans that I have been collecting and I couldn't wait to get started on these crafts. So let me go ahead and get this can dried down with the second coat and I'll be right back. All right, so we have our tin can all dried and I like the, um, the orange that it is. I like that it has a little bit of that, you know, rustic-y, look to it meaning the 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 darker like the undertone and <clears throat> before we get carried away i want to go ahead and put my rope or at least measure okay because i will totally forget and then put the face in a complete like you know in a in the wrong area I'm just gonna measure and the, this is wired jute that I got from the Dollar Tree. So I'm just gonna cut through that. Now I'm waiting for my glue gun to heat up, but, right, so I didn't use a thick enough um, nail, so we're not gonna be able to shove this in, but what we're gonna do is we're gonna glue this. So we're gonna glue this on and it's gonna go like so, super cute. We're just gonna wait for that to heat up. In the meantime, we're gonna go ahead and paint our face. I'm just gonna keep it simple and do something like that. And I'm actually gonna do it, making sure that I get <laughs> um, somewhat centered. And this is, I'm trying to show you guys what I'm doing. Because we're going rustic, it doesn't have to be perfect. That's what I love about these can um, 
crafts is that rustic means, I don't want to say flaws, but imperfections. So don't worry if you're like, I'm not the greatest painter. I'm sure there are stencils. You can even probably buy stickers, you know, that um, would make a jack-o'-lantern. I see a lot of that stuff for like, you know, real pumpkins and whatnot. So if you're super like, I'm just not gonna paint anything, it's okay. Now I do have to kind of put it up so I can see what I'm doing. Um, There we go. I'm pretty happy with the eyes. Now I'm just gonna go over and make sure that I really got this black. Uh, this is all saturated. And they're not exactly alike, but that's okay. We're gonna do a cute smiley face, just like the one that we have here. Not your traditional uh, jack-o'-lantern. smile. There we go. Do a little top. And then I'm going to do an X right here. Like so. Then do another one kind of towards the top. And then I'm just going to do a little half. Let me see how I did that. Yeah little half circle for a nose there pretty simple when it comes to the painting of the face and then just a quick little oop and a oop for an eyebrow that is it super fast super quick all right and i think my um glue gun is just about done now I do have some of these cute little um, tree, like um, tree branch little stumps. I got them from the Dollar Tree years ago. I don't really use them that often, but we're gonna use them today. So let's see where we are at on the glue. Perfect. All right, so we're just gonna go ahead and dab a little bit of glue right here and get that glued where where that one little hole is and just wait till that sets all right and then this is some hay that i got from well not hay necessarily but faux hay um from again Dollar Tree. So we're just gonna let that sit for a second. And this is just a really simple, cute craft. And I've done this with wine bottles. I love fall because you can go very rustic or you can go very chic. Either way, it's super adorable. Okay, make sure that that is on there good. Oop, no, 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 we're not ready. Sorry about that. Okay, we're just gonna leave that there. What we are going to do though, is gonna go ahead and put a big circle of glue up here because we're gonna add our hay like so. Be careful not to burn your fingers when applying this because obviously the glue can seep right through that. So just be very, very careful. So I can still feel the heat coming from that glue. You know what, actually, let me go ahead and use this. All right, so we're gonna that. And what I'm gonna do is take my little stump, and the flatter part is right there. Get that all nice and glued. And what we're gonna do is press down pretty hard. So this will adhere to the tin it'll all like the glue will all come through that way this isn't loose you know there we go we can pick up the whole can with it so make sure that you give this some pressure and like so hopefully this little area will be done 
and it's just so cute and so quick. The only downtime is really waiting for your paint to dry and um, the glue to dry. That is about it. And then I'll show you how we mark up our tin because you can see there's like little black splotches around that to give it some more of a rustic vibe. Okay, I really don't want that to come up. Let's see if we're... Okay, so I wanna go ahead. Ah, we might have to glue this back on. All right, before we do that, we're gonna kind of give this like a little bit of a funky um, shape. There we go. Yeah. <coughs> Excuse me. All right. Okay. Let's go ahead and work on that one side. Hopefully this time around it'll stick. The glue heated up the paint. Now I could, if it comes down to it, make the hole bigger and pop this on the inside, which probably seems like the smarter thing to do, but because I'm already here and I don't have the tools right here with me, we're choosing for this option. All right. And there we go. All right. What do you guys think? How adorable is this? Again, such an easy, fast craft. And you can do this with kids. It's a very, make sure that you have somebody supervising the glue, but how adorable and like I said now we're gonna add little bits of that black so I'm gonna go ahead and put this over here I have one of these sponges from this little what is it spout or it's a little sponge thing and just take an ever so light grab of paint and then just take your brush and then just go along and just do little swipes. And if you feel that you have too much, go ahead and take one side of, you know, actually, let me use this real fast. I feel like on one side I have way too much. So, now we're just gonna bottom All right. and once you get enough of this black on there you can even probably use like a dark gray then you are set Here we go. Ah, trying not to get there. We go. Pumpkin number one, pumpkin number two. And you can do a whole collection. You can do different kinds of eyes, mouths, whatnot colors, and really just have a good time with this. And either, you know, you can sell these at a craft fair or just keep them for your home decor. But that is it when it comes to super easy jack-o'-lantern tin cans. So anyways, this is it. If you like this craft, please give it a thumbs up. If you like this tutorial, please share it with your friends. And of course, as always, make sure that you're subscribed to the channel and I will see you again in my next tutorial. I'm so happy to be doing fall crafts. We've got to jump on that scarecrow. I can't wait. I'm like, hmm, we should do a big one for that one because we can get real creative with it. So anyways, thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you again in my next video.